your back. The glowing sea. Virgil. What happened? I found Virgil. He has a way inside the Institute. But I need a code from a Courser chip. A Courser chip? You fought a Courser? Oh my god. Unfortunately, I can't help you. I've worked on a lot of synths, but never a Courser. I don't know what that chip does, let alone how to decode it. But there are people who might. I work with a group that, well, they're the only ones I know that even have a chance at cracking Institute security. They are called the Railroad. The Railroad? They help since escape the Institute. I don't know who they all are. Usually an agent of theirs just shows up with someone who needs new memories. One of them gave me a code phrase. Said it would help me find them if there was ever an emergency. Follow the Freedom Trail. Any idea what the code phrase means? I'm not sure. But I remember there was a pre-war landmark with a similar name. I'd start there. Hopefully they've placed other clues to tell you where to go after that, hidden somewhere in plain sight. That's how they think. All right. I'll find them. Good luck. I'm sorry what I have is so cryptic, but hopefully you can figure things out as you go. I'll be a good boy! <laughs> Thank you. 
shot. I don't like this. Not one bit. Springs. Oh, so it starts with R.
stop right there. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell are you? I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Who told you how to contact us? Dr. Amari told me how to find you. Very interesting. Last question. Why are you here? I found a Courser chip. Can your people decode it? You have what? This is not a joking matter. I didn't know we were having a party. What gives with my invitation? Oh, I see you invited the Courser killer. Nice. Deacon, you're late. You're saying this intruder actually killed a Courser? Single-handedly? <laughs> oh, that'd give even Gloria a run for her money. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal. If you're done interrogating him, you might want to show this Courser murdering machine a little courtesy. Hmm? Just a thought. I owe you an apology. Anyone who kills a Courser is good in my book. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. Who are you people, exactly? In a world full of suspicion, treachery, and hunters, we're the synth's only friend. Des, we need to let him in. He's got an intact courser chip, for God's sake. That violates our security protocols. To hell with that! He killed a courser. There's no way he's working for the Institute. We're letting you into our headquarters. You're the first outsider ever to be given this privilege. We'll discuss the details about your chip inside. Courser chip is a very delicate operation. A million things can go wrong. The least of which is losing the data. Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. Oh, hey, Dad. You need something? Tom, our visitor here has a Courser chip. Oh, for real? Oh man, it's been ages! Right, some ground rules. Tom can get you the code, but once he's done, we get the Courser chip. Why do you want the Courser chip? Institute Tech is light years beyond what we have. And a Courser chip is top of the line. I'm not gonna get into details, but that chip could help us save lives. Maybe throw a wrench in some of the Institute's operations. So, hand over the chip. Fine. It's yours. All right. Tom, make it happen. All right, little course of chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. Don't try anything. We're in. Chip accessed. Just poke the analog connectors a little. What? Oh man, don't, don't don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccup. Here it comes. Encryption algorithms. All right, all right, we're still running. Oh man, they've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be. Come on, baby, show me that pattern. Where is it? Wait, they're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. Oh man, we got lucky. I got you, you institute bastard. I got you. Soft way in. Come on. Show me that sweet base number. Come on, baby. Yeah, we got it. We got the code. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Hey, yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, Des. Start working on the rest of the chip. And you. I'd love to work with you more. Let me know if you're interested. But to be crystal clear, if you use that data and discover anything involving the Institute, you share it with us first. 
Otherwise, our relationship will be in jeopardy. Everyone's all, you've been hitting the Kims way too hard. But I got my eyes open. I see. Hey. This better be worth it. What's in your mind? How do you feel about us? We could be making more caps. But I'm hoping that'll turn itself around soon. That was all. No problem. Don't try anything, stranger. If Talk we're going to, to be dealing more with each other, I need to make sure that we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? Yeah, I know all about them. Good. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. Go on. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? Could you elaborate? Answer with your gut on this. Your heart. If you had to put yourself in danger to save a synth, would you do it? Once, I pledged my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this as any different. Well said. Someone with your skills, your beliefs, normally we'd try and recruit you. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. You didn't see anything suspicious coming in, right? Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Your leader was just being cautious. She's lucky you calm things down. I don't react well when I'm staring down the barrel of a gun. Exactly. Kind of killed our chance at a friendly first impression, though. But it's all good now. I vouched for you, nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. So tell me, why did you vouch for me? In our little outfit, it's my job to know things. And with everything you've done, it's clear you're capable. A dangerous enemy. And I'm betting, a valuable ally. But why the trust? You can't be taking it all on faith. I've heard a lot of things about you. Enough to want to give you a chance. So Dez wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just gonna come out and say this. The railroad needs you. You sure you need me? Desdemona didn't seem to care. She's just thinking of the time and manpower it would take to train you. And if you were some hick from the burbs that didn't know your ass from a rocket launcher, she'd be right. But I'm betting someone like you just needs a few pointers. And a target. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Dez invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. What's the job? So, up front, the only thing I'll say is that it's gonna be a wild and dangerous ride, but probably nothing new for someone like you. Sign me up, then. Perfecto! Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. Angel, angel, what have I done? 
I face the quakes, the wind, the fire.